uh, firstly, I would like to thank Share Properties for hosting this event. Uh, they are one of our strategic partners since the, uh, the start of Qatar Sustainability Week. One of the amazing partners, uh, Share, as, as, as a city, is, is, uh, is one of the very smart and sustainable cities, not only in Qatar, but also in the region. Thank you again. Uh, I would like to take you on a journey to Qatar Sustainability Week. Why, how we started Qatar Sustainability Week and what, why did we did that uh, campaign in 2016? Uh, just to give you an introduction about Qatar Green Building Council, we are a member of Qatar Foundation and also under the umbrella of an international organization called World Green Building Council, which includes more than 88 green building councils around the world. Our role is to raise and foster the awareness about sustainability in general and green buildings in specific within the community. So we do different kind of programs. We do research projects, we do education, education, capacity building, training engineers, uh, and building capacity within the construction and design industry and operation as well. So we have different levels of uh, engagement and involvement within academics and professionals as, as well. And one of our mandates is, is raising the, the awareness and the outreach. So if you have a very sustainable uh, building, a very sustainable city, without having the right behaviors from the users of, of, of those buildings, you will reach to nothing, actually, because uh, uh, you, you can have a very smart city uh, if you behave in a bad way and, or in a bad manner, so you, your consumption or uh, a level of uh, uh, consumption or waste production and uh, the overall outcome of the city will be very bad. Because if you're given the best, for example, the best car in the world and you cannot drive it, so you will not achieve your goal or you cannot be successful in riding this car. So the, the same thing happens with sustainability when we talk about green buildings and green cities. So raising the awareness within the community is one of the important topics once we started Qatar Green Building Council, we had that kind of mandate that we should raise the awareness and foster it within the community. We have different programs related to that field. And uh, actually, when we started in 2012, the knowledge or the, the awareness about sustainability was very, uh, very little compared to, uh, to current days. I think now the new generation have a privilege of, of uh, that kind of knowledge. They have the best uh, buildings in the world, the best cities. Uh, they have the governmental support. They have the very good regulations that support the sustainability and saving the environment. In 2011 and 12, that concept was relatively new. And we, it was very hard work to try to change that culture within the community. So uh, if you see our, our program starts from conferences, uh, technical programs that support the, the, the professionals, uh, supporting the academics, uh, uh, directories, uh, eco schools uh, programs, uh, green key for the hospitality sector, uh, will, uh, which certifies the buildings from well-being perspective, uh, recycling programs. So all those programs support very important uh, segments of the industry, but still the, the, the most important part of it is is the awareness, is our knowledge of, of those tools and techniques and uh, our contribution to the, to, towards the environment. As, as we always say, you have 200 leaders in the world, which are the presidents and the king of the world. But you have, we are as a community or population more than 7 billion. So our impact is, is, is much more than any regulation can be applied in the world. We have very good uh, impact on the environment because at the end we interact with the, with the environment as users of those buildings. Or, or those cities, or behaving uh, toward the environment. So our behavior matter, and it, it makes the real change and impact uh, to the environment. Uh, also, uh, having that, our population is increasing. So in the world now, we are achieving to 8 billion population. Uh, we are targeting uh, going to, to, to be 9 billion plus in, in about 30 years. Uh, however, on the other side, more than 75 of the world population will be living in cities. Nowadays, it's less than 50%. So consider that 75% of the 9 billion, which means about 6 billion people will be living in cities. So they will consume energy, they will consume water, they will produce waste, they will have a very uh, important or uh, direct, uh, strong impact to the environment. Their, their impact will be very important. So. Uh, the whole world is, 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 uh, is uh, preparing for, for this year, which is 2050, and how we are going to impact the, the, the environment. 
uh, considering also the climate change actions are increasing and we started feeling all the climate change impacts, either raising the, uh, the, 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 the atmosphere, the temperature of, 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 the, of the earth, uh, raising, uh, sea, uh, uh, raising sea, sea level, uh, also uh, the, 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 the very severe uh, environmental or climate change impacts that happens around the world, which will impact the food security, it will impact all kinds of living uh, purposes or uh, factors for us as a human beings on earth. And also, uh, beside that, but as, as a global uh, view, I, I will just give you some figures of our local view uh, in Qatar. How much do you consume uh, water in Qatar? Our consumption is actually more than 527 liters per day per capita. So each one of us consumes about 500, more than 500 liters per day, which is very high in compared to other countries in the world. It's actually more than triple than other countries, which is very high uh, consumption level. Uh, it's two to three per, uh, times uh, the average consumption in other countries. Considering also that most 99% of the water that we have in Qatar is all desalinated. desalinated, uh, desalinated. So desalination is, is one of the important uh, sources of water that we have here in Qatar. And uh, it, it, if, if we ask anybody, do we have a problem here in Qatar? And uh, do you have water scarcity in Qatar? Everybody definitely will say no, because we don't suffer uh, a, a scarcity or any problem with water. But uh, it's, it's, it's actually the opposite. We don't have any uh, sources of water rather than the seawater. So it's, it's very important to save that water and save the energy that we are using to desalinate this water. Energy also. Our consumption of energy is more than 16,000 kilowatt, kilowatt per hour per capita, which is also three times the uh, level of, of consumption uh, as, as, uh, as international level. Also waste production. So each person of us uh, produce one, more than 1.4 ton uh, of waste every year, which is also very high as, as a waste production. So actually those, those figures and those numbers uh, made a very, a very important mandate for us to, to work toward uh, saving, saving the environment and also uh, contribute in doing something to our country. Because more than 92% uh, of the oil and gas is, is, is exporting, exporting, which is more than 62% of the income of our country. So rather than uh, consuming these energies or uh, fossil fuels and producing water and energy, it's better to be saved that we can reduce our consumption and those can be an additional income for our country. Also, when we talk about well-being, well-being is very important uh, to us. Sustainability is not only saving water and energy or dealing with the waste. It also impacts our uh, behaviors, well-being, and uh, habits as, as, as human beings. So the, the obesity within the Qatari nationals is more than 70%. Uh, uh, overweight in Qatar, in Qatar kids is more than 25%. Diabetes in Qatar, more than 17%. And actually, those figures are alarming us to, to do something that we have to change our behavior. So when we, when, we, when we started Qatar Sustainability Week activities, we didn't focus on water and energy. Actually, we set up different levels of, of, uh, of work that we do together. It's environmental, well-being, uh, social, and different aspects that do Qatar Sustainability Week activities. As we started that campaign in 2000. Uh, 15 actually and uh, uh, it, it, it was it was very important to us that we should focus on different levels so uh, we talk about uh, collaboration we should all work together as private sector uh, governmental organization community members NGOs we all work together to achieve our goals so it's it's a platform that brings everybody together also uh, it also uh, give us kind of calendars so many organizations doing activities around the year but having them in one week will, will shed the light on them. So that makes kind of uh, collaboration and lesson learned. Everybody would like to do something uh, in sustainability, can see what other organization did. Uh, the platform is open for everybody since 2016. We have all the records, all the uh, achievements of Qatar Sustainability Week since that time until today, so you can benefit from others' experiences. Uh, also, it's, it's raising awareness within the community. That gives it a very strong impact where we raise our voice and that can easily achieve to, the, to all community members. So, as we said, 
for Qatar sustainability week, it's not only in water and energy. We focus on the environment, but we'll, we look to different uh, fields. So awareness uh, sessions, very important, like what we have today. Uh, uh, exhibitions, also what we have today, and we did so many exhibitions before. We would like to introduce the sustainable materials and services available in the market. And unfortunately, not everybody knows that we have recycling factories in Qatar. We have facility management companies that do FM in a sustainable manner. We have uh, eco-friendly products. So our role is also to introduce those products and services to the, uh, to the members of our community. Sport and fitness, as we said, is one of the important topics that we'd like to make it part of our daily life and well-being. And nutrition and healthy food lifestyle also is important. Offers where we have uh, companies that would like to contribute and make offers for eco-friendly products. Uh, initiatives. We have so many great initiatives from NGOs, from our Youth for Climate Change and universities, schools. They do very amazing initiatives to support the environment. Uh, schools and get an initi kids initiative, very good contribution from school uh, students. Uh, family activities, we would like also the family to be part of that week. It, it's not only for professionals, for uh, students, it's, uh, it's for all family members. So they can attend the activities, uh, seminars and, uh, and the conferences and tours also. We have so many tours, we have beach clean campaigns, tours to, uh, to uh, uh, habitats to see the, 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 the the natural species in Qatar and habitats, we have to preserve them. So when we started in 2000, 2016, we had about 10,000 participants. The number was really uh, very good as a start. Uh, the, the, the next year, it's, it's almost doubled. Uh, third year, 2018, we had more than 30,000 participants, and the outreach was much higher. And we were impressed with the increasing number and, and commitment and engagement from the private and governmental uh, uh, sectors. We reached to more than 1 million reach and 50,000 participants. We reached to 250 uh, events and more than 150 partners. Clips from uh, year and year activities, that the work that we did. And uh, to, uh, 2020 last year, it was very challenging due, due, due to the pandemic. And, but also the outreach was very good. We reached to more than 50,000 participants in the activities. Uh, and the outreach was, was amazing. Uh, we reached up to 3 million social media impressions. Uh, as we said, our role and, and the, the, the aim of Qatar Sustainability Week is to have that level of, of outreach makes everybody uh, to become part of this. And today we are proud to announce that uh, today we reached to uh, 300 uh, part, uh, activities, and this is the first, the first time that we reached to 300 uh, activities. So anybody would like to have more idea uh, of our programs and special sustainability week, we have publications in Arabic and English available in our website, uh, qatargbc.org. Uh, that, be, uh, that uh, can be very beneficial to you. As we said, uh, Qatar Sustainability Week is for everybody. Uh, we would like to raise that kind of, uh, of knowledge and experience that we built over the past six years, and it's, it's for, uh, for making that kind of change in, in our culture. Uh, the challenges are increasing now. Next month, we will have the COP26 uh, conference of parties, and uh, I'm sure after the conference, we'll have so many decisions that will have an impact uh, on the whole world and also will have an impact to us in Qatar because uh, uh, the air temperature is, is, is reaching to, uh, honestly, a very, a very high levels. And um, I always quote from uh, Barack Obama, uh, a nice quote, he said, we might be the first uh, nation that uh, uh, the first generation that feel the feels the uh, climate change uh, impacts and unfortunately we might be the last uh, generation who can do something about it so if we miss that opportunity if we cannot do that change I think it, uh, the situation will be very bad for the next generation thank you very much